What's up you beautiful people? Thank you once again for tuning into my channel. I'm Sadiq and today we're gonna be building this bad boy. I'd like to give a huge shout out to my friends at HR Block for me getting me this amazing technique set. You know who you are. Before we start, I would like to request for an early thumbs up to help with the YouTube algorithm. If this is your first time tuning into the channel, make sure to subscribe to our channel and join our community and hit that notification button so you can stay tuned for our new contents. So a little bit of background information about the Porsche 911 RSR. So the 911 RSR was developed by Porsche to participate in Le Mans and other races. Porsche 911 RSR 2017 model essentially replaced the Porsche 911 RSR 991. So the real life Porsche 911 RSR actually has a four liters flat six engine that puts up an insane 503 horsepower. That's just incredible. Lego actually has done a really good job in replicating the actual real life 911 RSR into a Lego version. I haven't opened it yet, but I can just show you the picture. So this one, if I zoom in, right here is what the real life 911 RSR looks like. And this is the completed model of 911 RSR in a Lego version. Fairly accurate representation, I say. And not only me, the real life race car driver for Porsche, Christina Nielsen, actually checked out the model herself and she thinks it's actually pretty damn accurate to the real life representation. So if you want to, if you're interested into that video, I'll leave the link in the description below so you can check it out later. So without further ado, let's unbox this puppy. Okay, there you go. This is the Porsche Technique. Let's unbox this. I'll make a hole so let's make this easier. So you have one, well, okay, 12 bags and the manual. Let's see how that looks. Okay, so this is the Porsche manual. Let's tear it up. Oh. I hate it when it's like sealed so tight, which is nice, right? You don't want it to be anything packaged bad that you can't just was tampered with. So anyways, comes up pretty easily, I guess. Oh, I spoke too quick. Okay, there you go. That's the technique and also looks pretty nice. This is a total of Let's see how many pages this is. 288 pages. So it's actually pretty cool because this is not as many, almost one fourth of the Lamborghini Cyan. So pretty awesome just because that took me a while. So I, hopefully this is gonna be a easier build. Comes with those stickers as for, and the decals to put on the Porsche body. So unlike Lamborghini Cyan, it seems like they're using generic Lego parts and you have to put on the stickers later on. That's great. Doesn't look like there's anything else on this manual other than the build instruction. And is there any extra things? Doesn't look like it. Yeah, Lamborghini manual had some extra tidbits like you know the designing and some uh, kind of like a coffee book version almost so cool let's get start building
quick walk around of the Porsche 911 RSR. So this is the front end, which is really great. Uh, one other thing I found interesting was this front end is actually sealed. Um, for this Lego piece, it seems like they don't really want to see, want you to see inside the bonnet. I'm guessing because there's nothing really in it. Um, so yeah, just one thing that is different from some of the other technique pieces like Lego or the Bugatti Chiron. Uh, one really cool thing is that though you can kind of flip over the light lens case so you can actually see you can also do that there are those Lego pieces to kind of give it the illusion of the headlights. So it's pretty cool. So you can kind of put it back. Same thing with this one as well. So there you go. The other thing uh, which is kind of different with this technique set with uh, Lamborghini and the other one is that all this decals as I showed you before is actually stickers that you have to put on um, all on the body so there's not a Lego piece which is specific for this particular Lego set which I don't mind really I think if you are starting and you know you building the set you'll have a lot of more fun just because you have to put those decals on uh, so it's kind of nice but then again sometimes it may not look as properly done like my hack job here so there you go uh, this part is actually came in printed on the Lego piece so I stand corrected so there's a few pieces which actually is specific to this Porsche there's the tires so once you open up the door, uh, it's pretty cool. It actually looks like an actual race car. You can see the seat here. It actually mimics the kind of race seats you have in racetrack. Uh, it's a very bare minimum Porsche, so there's not really a lot of things inside. Just like a race car, it's meant for speed, not for luxury. Um, I believe one of the videos somebody was saying this is very, very accurate to how a race car, especially this Porsche, Porsche looks like because they actually have a sticker of a map that drivers usually follow. Um, the steering wheel looks very similar to a race car on the racetrack as well. So that's pretty awesome as well. So going back, the back quarter end and the rear, I feel is actually the best part of this car. It's just beautiful. You know, you look at the headlights, uh, you have the exhaust and all of the pieces. So it's pretty fantastic. So one complaint i have though is that some of these pieces which is uh specific to technique it's kind of like one of those rubber tubes that you put on on the both end to kind of give that illusion that's kind of like a bumper or whatever it's really hard to put in because of the location um just so something to consider as a feedback to lego i would say it's very very hard especially if this lego set is aged for 10 year old and above um, I can totally see a 10 year old being completely frustrated with trying to put it back here. Other than that, it's really good. Uh, going back, you have the hood, which I'll lift here and you can actually see the engine right there. So I'll just zoom in. There you go. And cool thing is, as you move the car, you can actually see the pistons moving back and forth. Some of the other cars like the Lamborghini uh, and I'm not sure about the Bugatti, but yeah, for sure. Lamborghini has a cover, so you can't really see it. But on this car, because it's a race car and it's a flash six, you can actually see that. So it's pretty cool. The one other gripe I have with this particular Porsche set, uh, Lego Porsche 911, is that the manual, uh, it doesn't really indicate anywhere which bag of Legos to open up first. And I think that can be a little bit frustrating for somebody, especially who's a 10 year old kid. And my inner 10 year old is that if you're building a Lego piece with a thousand pieces, thousand plus pieces, you need to know which Lego pop thing to back to open up first, just because there's so many different parts. And you know, if you open up all the bags at the same time, just like I did, you are left with yourself with a mess and you know you really have to work extra hard so something to consider later on as well other than that this is a really amazing set i would not hesitate to recommend it for anyone 
uh, it just is really pretty and you know as you can see compared to the actual real life Porsche 911 RSR this is very very accurate it was really fun to build it's not too long that it takes to build so i find that this is fantastic for somebody who's trying to get into a technique set and this might be your first technique set it's a perfect one to pick up share with your kids and also help them build it and you know it doesn't matter what age you are you know you will definitely have fun building it well folks that's it for today i hope you enjoyed that video in the comment section below let me know what type of content you'd like to see next time until next time, take excellent care of yourself, love and respect each other just like the way you like to be loved and respected. Take care, guys. Love you. Bye.